Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Uh-oh, death and rebirth. Share the love, Pisces, share the love. You're trying to give your heart to somebody or somebody trying to give your heart to give their heart to you. Death and rebirth, okay? See how she's holding this dove and releasing this dove? She looks kind of sad. Oh, I'm sorry. I said death and this is detached. <laughs> sorry, Pisces. Spirit is saying detached, let go of something, okay? But for some of you guys, that death and rebirth process, may, maybe you already did detach from something. But Spirit is saying detach, okay? Maybe do it with love or, or and compassion um, or share the love or your... You want to maybe share the love with somebody else here or someone wants to give you their heart. We'll see what other messages come out. Oh, yeah, moving on. Okay. So, Pisces, you may have just had an ending here with the situation. You're moving on or your person moved on. Okay. Or spirit is telling you to move on. Let's see. Maybe one more message around this connection. Okay, I said one, I got two. So let's see. Rebuild. Yeah, you guys are moving on from something and rebuilding something new. You're in the, in the middle of a healing process, breaking free from something. You see this person has um, detached himself from the chains. Okay. So you have maybe done this recently or you're in this process right now. A spirit is telling you you need to detach from the situation, okay? Because that's something else better is coming, okay? There may be, may be some fears behind that. I don't know, okay? So release the situation. Do it with love and compassion. Have love and compassion for yourself. This is about a love connection, okay? Um, past. So, so some of you guys, you've already done that. And then you're moving on and you're rebuilding and you're just kind of like waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for this next love opportunity to come in. Um, let me pull some Island Time cards for you, right? This is a spread that I did for Aquarius and it actually worked quite well. So we'll see how this goes for you, Pisces. If I'm in the, yeah, and the Grim Reaper wanted to come out and death and rebirth. Spirit is saying, detach from something, let go, move forward. Pisces, Spirit, give me messages for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So this situation could be detaching from an engagement um, or the engagement could be coming after you let go of something and you rebuild and you heal. That's what's going to be coming towards you if, if you guys didn't. And the roles could be reversed and the energies could be reversed. I'm just going to talk and tell the story. And then if I pick up on certain energies, I'll let you know. So you need messages for Pisces and a person. Clock. Something to do with timing here, guys. Divine timing. Need time. Takes takes time. Cycles. Time to heal. Progress. Yeah. Spirit did, did say heal, right? You're healing from an engagement, a breakup from an engagement, or some sort of commitment. Spirit saying you need time. Be loving to yourself. Maybe take a walk on the beach, you guys. Kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, or falling in love. So maybe now is the time for you to focus on yourself, right? Give yourself self love here. Be kind to yourself while you're going through this process. Or for some of you guys, you know, there's new love coming in for you, but Spirit is saying not right now. Let me message for Pisces. Yeah, you're transforming. Okay, relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Okay, a lot of you are doing some healing right now. Um, some introspection. Mirror, you're mirroring each other. Self wound relationship reflect our relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. Okay, so that's part of this rebuilding process. Okay, so you and your person. Could be marrying each other right now um or you're healing or you both are healing had to heal some um some wounds right you had to heal some wounds maybe that's why you're not getting engaged i don't know um the phoenix could be dealing with the scorpio don't have to be new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and change mind maybe somebody changed their mind about an engagement here okay um or someone is thinking about it rekindling something 
Bottom of the deck is the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues here. So that could have been something that you needed. Spirit is saying you also need to heal. Or that might be why you needed to detach from the situation, Pisces. Could have been a codependent relationship. We'll pull some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle for you. Let's see what comes up. Let's see what your person... See what your person has to say, Pisces. Spirit, what does Pisces' person have to say that they're not saying? That they wish they could say to Pisces. They said, I feel you even though we are apart. Yeah, so for some of you guys, you're definitely um, not together anymore. You are, you've already been detached. Spirit, give me another card for detach. Give me another card for detach. I knew exactly what I was doing. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, Pisces. Spirit, give me a message for the share the love. Why is share the love here? I am afraid to contact you. So somebody wants to reach out to you, but they are afraid. They feel like the timing is wrong. Clarify, share the love. I hid who I am, really am from you, okay? So this person, that's why they're not contacting you. Let's see what moving on is about. Moving on. I couldn't let you get close to me. So someone moved on because they maybe may have self-sabotaged the situation, pushed you away. Clarify moving on. I wish I had treated you better. So you moved on from somebody or roles could be reversed and vice versa. They didn't treat you right. Um, they were insecure. They couldn't let you get the close to them because they were too busy. I feel like being somebody else or self-sabotaging something, which tells me they had some healing to do. That there was something that had nothing to do with you, Pisces. If somebody's doing this type of stuff, trust me, it doesn't have anything to do with you. You are lovable. You came closer than anyone. You saw how that flew out. You came closer than anyone, but they didn't do, they didn't, Geez, Pisces, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Let's clarify this rebuilding. Let's clarify rebuild. You're the best thing in my life. Somebody wants to get back together with you and rebuild something. That's three of pentacles energy. You might want to, mirroring is here, so you you might want to um, rebuild with them too. I don't know, Pisces, your business. I look everywhere for you. Yeah, you miss them. They miss you. I feel like this is this this energy is reciprocated with Mary here, okay? Let's see what the opportunity beckons is about. I'm so attracted to you. Ooh, this might be some new energy. Clarify opportunity beckons. I mean, it could be your person, but here. I don't know. I want you. Ooh, they're attracted to you. They want you. This is Ace of Wands energy, so... Uh, you speak to me through music. So this person might lay in bed at night thinking about you listening to music. I feel like this is like really strong, fiery Ace of Wands energy. Somebody wants to, the opportunity beckons is like they're trying to find the right opportunity to, to get back with you. And they've been listening to music and that music has been reminding them of you, Pisces, or vice versa. Okay. Let's pull some messages from... To do the Light Sears Tarot deck. <laughs> yeah, Pisces, you're a superhero. You are. Tell me how Pisces this person feels about them right now. Yeah, let's see what the, how they're feeling. I mean, we already kind of know. Oh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart, but they see you as a wish fulfillment. This is the star card. This is major arcana. Um, this you were something really important to this person, um, or you're just in the middle, or there your person's just healing right now, taking a break. Okay, I mean it could be both. How does this person feel about Pisces right now? Oh wait, this Eight of Wands want to come out so bad. They want to talk. They miss you. You might be busy healing. Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. They want to tell you how emotionally. Um, uh oh. Too many cards. King of Pentacles, okay? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Right? It's on the devil here, but all those popped out. I'm not going to take them all. Your wish fulfillment to somebody. But I think you're busy healing right now. Somebody wants to communicate. But again, I feel like it's Ace of Wands energy. They miss you. They're thinking about the physical for sure. 
for physical for sure. How does this person feel about Pisces? Yep, Queen of Wands and King of Wands. They feel like you're a perfect match. They miss you. They feel like you're also a physical perfect match. So for a lot of you guys, you guys can look similar. Uh, but this person feels like you are a match. Um, you're fiery, you're strong. They're fiery, they're strong. Um, could be dealing with a Leo here. But they miss you sexually. <laughs> I've said that. Like, that energy is all over here on the end. I'm so attracted to you. I want you. You speak to me through music. Oh, yeah. The, this person probably made a whole playlist. They're waiting on you. They made a playlist, Pisces. <laughs> or did you make a playlist? Because, ooh, somebody really misses you. So, But be careful of that if you're in the middle of the healing process right now. Be careful of just running back to this person and accepting their advances. I mean, you can do what you want. You're an adult. I'm going to mind my business, but somebody walked away from something that didn't serve them anymore, and they're walking towards their fulfillment, their happiness, and I feel like this is either you or your person, right? That person that's healing right now. So it's like you walked away from the situation, so I don't even, they think that you're, or you think that they are not going to, yeah, talk to them, because you walked away. Mm-hmm. You're like, bye. You got your back turned to this. Or your person does. Your person does. I feel like they have their, their yeah. Okay, could be dealing with the Gemini. Could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. I did say Leo, right? Mm-hmm. Or Aquarius. Um, the Magician card. It's this, this person walked away from what no longer serves them. And they're just walking towards something happier and healthier. They're trying to manifest some new beginnings after this, after this ending. I feel like, okay. Let's see. What's this communication about? Clarify this eight of wands. Clarify the eight of wands. Ooh, the two of cups. They want to tell you they miss you. But they're in their head about it. Okay, they're stressed out about it. Since I feel a lot of self-sabotage from this person in the past, two Pisces. Um, I think Aquarius was kind of dealing with some self-sabotage too. So you guys might be Aquarius, Pisces. You could be dealing with each other. I don't know. Um, just look at, as soon as I can get this Aquarius video uploaded, I will, but, um, let's clarify this star. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? Too many cards. The star. You might be like, no, I'm too busy healing. I just saw the seven of wands. Yeah, you're closing old cycles, but this may include some travel too. But you're closing old cycles. And kind of just working on yourself um, and kind of in limbo right now, trying to move forward with your life. And um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Mm -mm, let's see. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Walking away from something, but walking towards something else, working towards something. So... Wait, let me get one more card. Because it's like somebody might want to work on this. Another person doesn't. Clarify the eight cups. Okay, now might not be the time. We've got temperance here with the three of pentacles. Could be a Capricorn um, or Virgo um, temperance. Okay, but like maybe there's some patience here. Somebody tried to have some patience and work on something with somebody. And they just got sick and tired and sick and tired. And they walked away. Okay, that's what this looks like. Clarify the magician. Why is the magician here? Okay, five of wands, some sort of conflict. Clarify the magician. Some sort of conflict with the queen of swords or somebody's blocking. Somebody's trying to manifest a new beginning with someone else that I don't feel like wants to talk. This person is guarded um, and they have their back turned. Yeah. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. Um, they love you. They love the situation. I mean, they miss the situation. Not they love the situation, but I don't feel like they're, they're loving the situation right now because they miss you. I just shuffled, and then the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups came out, and then that was the King of Cups. So someone wants a family, and they feel like your soulmate, your pair. Um, let's get some messages from Romance Oracle. Messages for Pisces and a person. Your person's coming back to talk to you, okay? Religious factors are um, influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. 
That could be what's happening right now with this Three of Pentacles energy and this Temperance energy. You're accepting help from other people. You're you know, you're working on yourself. You're focusing on your own spirituality, healing, romantic feelings. Your feelings are really worth exploring. But somebody else is like, I want to come back towards you. I miss you. <laughs> I want to touch you. Uh huh. Kiss you. Pisces, they, mm -mm. you know, Pisces, you guys are like really super emotional at times. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. Well, we did have engagement ring. So for some of you, you were engaged or this person might want to come back and, and say they want to get married or engaged. I don't know. Attraction. Or for some of you, releasing the situation brings in, brings in some sort of new commitment. Okay. Attraction. You attract romantic love by fully enjoying this moment and healing. Okay. So um, I hope that resonated for you. Don't forget to comment or subscribe so we can become friends <laughs> on Facebook. Or did I say on Facebook? On YouTube. Okay. I don't have a Facebook. Um, but my Instagram stuff is, um, if you want, you guys want to follow me, my Instagram account information is in the description box. If you want a box, if you want a personal reading, there's, there's a link that you can click on that will take you to get a personal reading. And I'm also accepting donations to the channel if any of the messages resonates for you and you feel led to donate. You can just click the link in the PayPal description, in the description box, PayPal or Cash App. I love you guys. I'm just thankful that you're here. So just hit the like button for me and that does wonders already. We're going to do your yes or no question, Pisces. So think about what question that you want to ask. Something that you want to know, I'm going to pull one card and see what comes up, okay? So take a deep breath, think about your question. Spirit, what is the answer to Pisces' question? I just saw the three of swords swing out and pop back in. Some heartbreak here. Six of Pentacles, I feel like is a yes. It's, it's, a, it's equal give and take, okay? So I feel like that's a yes. It just may require some giving. All right? Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's some choice. You may have a choice here, but um, let's get some advice for you and your person from the answer, angel answer deck, Pisces. I see advice for Pisces spirit. I think I just saw something flip. Take action. But yeah, somebody definitely is going to take action with that eight. Eight of wands. Might get a text, phone call. Okay, somebody's going to be calling to tell you how much they miss you, Pisces. Opportunity. Yeah, there's some sort of opportunity beckoning, right? Or coming or call that you're going to be getting. Yeah, and Spirit says be compromising, okay? You guys be compromising. That can go for you or your person, but this is your advice, Pisces, okay? So Spirit is saying you, there is an opportunity for something here, but compromise. So I hope that resonated for you. Bye, Pisces.